Hi guys, Andrea Mills here. I'm going to take a few minutes today to tell you what the plans are for this coming month on my channel. There are so many things that I did not get to talk about last month that I wanted to, so I haven't made a decision quite yet about how I'm going to handle all of the stuff that I wanted to get to and wanted to share with you guys and I just didn't have time to do it. Things got a little um, hectic with some friends and some other situations going on towards the end of the month and I just didn't have time to make videos like normal. So um, one thing I was thinking about was um, maybe just going back and answering people in the comments like if you've lots of people asked about the same types of things so maybe like typing up one answer and then giving it to each of you so the individual people who are definitely interested in something would get their answer. Um, I thought about maybe using the topic ideas for blog posts or maybe on my new Facebook page, the andreamills.tv um, Facebook page. Um, I've also been interested in starting to write an actual ebook that I could sell, so that's another idea. And for all my topics that are of interest to everyone, especially one like this, I I will definitely be coming back to it again at a future date. So if it didn't get covered now, sometime down the road we'll come back and we'll talk about that more concentrated here on the channel. So those are some ideas that I'm floating around. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet, but I'm still continuing to work on my KonMari decluttering. I really actually had hoped to show you the progress I made on my herb stuff in my pantry. I was doing, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just take a little short video and put it at the end of this, um, of the drawers and things that I got organized with my essential oils and some things like that. So I'll just go ahead and show you that even though this is not about that. So for this month, we are going to do um, simple sewing is going to be the theme. I am not, I'm not an expert at anything. I'm a very functional seamstress. I can make a lot of things, but I don't know if I do them exactly right or the professional way. I'm going to go ahead and show you anyways how I do things. Um, a lot of you guys have asked me for like super basic things because, you know, s several of you have said you have sewing machines and you don't even know where to start. So I plan to do a video just like a total introduction to sewing with a sewing machine and how it works and troubleshooting. Um, I'm going to do a hand sewing video, hopefully, uh, because if you don't have a sewing machine, you can still sew practically anything by hand. It just takes longer, but you can still do it. So always a good skill to have and I'm gonna take you along we're gonna go shopping at least once and I'll show you how to pick out patterns and like how to read a pattern and you know pick out fabric and all that kind of stuff then I have so many of my own sewing projects that need to get done all this fabric here that you see always behind me this is fabric that I have bought with the purpose of doing something specific with it and I've never sat down and finished my projects so I'm hoping most of that will be gone this month because I will actually do all the sewing projects that that stuff is for. So I'm going to show you how to do the things that I'm doing. My own projects that I'm hoping to get to is I'm going to be making some dresses for the girls. Um, I'm going to make a, the peasant skirt that Eden wears and I'll show you guys how to make that. You can make that without a pattern and you can make it in any size. So I'm going to show you how to like figure out how to make that yourself in whatever size that you want. Um, Sorry, I don't know if you can hear it, but they're playing Play-Doh and things sound like they're getting a little hairy out there. Along with the dresses, I'm hoping to make some new curtains for my kitchen. Um, I've made all the curtains in our house. The only exception would be the ones in the living room right now. I, The day that I went to buy fabric for them, um, it was late at night and uh, the cutting counter was closing and I didn't get my fabric cut in time, so I just bought some that were already made at Walmart and then I hemmed them to the right size. So I sort of still sewed them, but not like I didn't make them from scratch. But anyways, I sew curtains. This stuff here is meant to um, make some sheets for my bed. So if I get to that, I'll show you how to make bed sheets. I might be doing some pillow cases, like throw pillow cases. And what else? Oh, I've been wanting to make a new um, lap blanket for the couch. So. We'll just see how much stuff actually gets done, but hopefully I can at least get you guys on your way if you want to learn how to do some of this stuff on your own. And really that's kind of how I view myself with everything. <laughs> like, 
I'm not the expert on anything, but if I can point you in the right direction and give you the confidence to try and start learning and experimenting on your own, then I feel like I've done my job. Also this month, I'm hoping to do tours of the kitchen, the utility closet, and my office because as of May 2nd, YouTube says that they're no longer going to be, um, you can't make any new annotations on videos or change the ones that you have. And I had made the video a long time ago with the floor plan of our house and then you could click on the different rooms of the floor plan to see the video tour of that room. And I haven't got to those three places and I won't be able to add new annotations to make them clickable anymore once um, May 2nd hits. So hopefully I'll get those done. We'll see, we'll see. You never know. My ambitions, I always say this, my ambitions are always greater than the amount of time that I end up actually having. But I'm hoping to do those things. So we'll have our um, sewing videos we'll have, hopefully some tour videos. If I get done with my KonMari miscellaneous category, I'll get that video done. We will have more homeschool vlogs. Right now we're on spring break, so um, I haven't been taking any video this week, but I still need to edit week 23 and week 24, so those will be coming out soon because those are already shot. I just need to edit them and put them up. Um, I'll do another monthly shopping video. And then with our weekly shopping, I know you guys always enjoy those and I actually enjoy them too, but it just depends on how I'm feeling on a given evening. Like, do I want to grab the camera and make a, an event out of this or do I just want to go get the groceries and come home? Um, it doesn't look much different either way as far as how things happen. It's just, I don't know, sometimes my brain just doesn't want to think about it and so I, then I just don't take the camera along. So. We'll just see how, there might be more of those kinds this month too, so we'll just see. We'll see about everything. Oh, and Easter's this month, so I'll probably do an Easter vlog too, so that's what's coming up. And I guess right now, I will go show you what I wanted to show you in my pantry, and then we'll see you guys hopefully soon with some sewing videos, and definitely more homeschool vlogs will be coming up probably first, because um, I already have those ready, and I can just edit those and get them up, so we'll see you guys again very soon. This is the area that I used to have a white table right here, just a little small table, square, and it had some shelves underneath, and I didn't like the storage that it provided, so I bought these a couple weeks ago on Amazon, but they have them at Walmart or wherever. These are just some Sterilite plastic drawers, and then I spray painted them gold, because I thought that would look nice with the coloring of my curtain that I have here, and then um, I have that picture frame up there so I thought gold would look nice and then I cut scrapbook paper and put in the fronts of all the drawers and each drawer in the tower is different but I made them matching um, the two towers match each other and I'm not sure why you keep gapping like this but I'm gonna get some zip ties I think and hold them together at the back so they don't do that but then I use my um, label maker to label each of the drawers. And I'll show you the insides. This one has our food color and flavors. And I made some little drawer dividers with some um, that foam poster board stuff. So then we have our little bottles of flavorings and sprinkles, some candles, um, food color, and in the back is some candy flavors. And if you want to take the drawers out, you just squeeze the sides and they'll come out. Oh, and I should mention, I spray painted the sides on the outsides gold so that when the drawers are closed, the whole side, I don't know if you can see it, it's probably too dark in here to see, but yeah, you can't really see that. Anyways, the whole side is gold then when you look at, the, look at it from the side and I thought that would just look nicer. This is my favorite drawer, the essential oils drawer. So I bought some pluck foam and it's, um, scored so you can take out pieces and I put all my essential oils in here and then I made little labels for the tops to identify what the oils are so they won't fall off anymore because I used to have them up on the shelf and they would just fall off and get broken so I'm really happy about how this turned out. And then this just has bottles of vitamins and um, cough drops and then um, any jars of capsules that I make also will go into this drawer. Then this drawer is appointments that I've made, or these are some that uh, the Unkers people, they, they make this like 
20 miles from us and they always give him some when Tom goes to work on their computers. And then the bottom drawer here has all my capsule making supplies in it. And the next one is just random things like this will have a little hand braces for both right and left hands for different injuries that we've had and ace bandages and just stuff like that is in here. I use this top of a sock to soak, um, I'll soak it in tea and then we can put it on an arm or a leg when somebody's had some sort of an injury that we want to put like a poultice on. This one has our hearing test kit, um, pregnancy tests. My, I don't have my thing in here right now, but my little autoscope where I can look in ears and noses, go, I'm going to keep that. I have other examination equipment like a stethoscope and things like that, but they're all up in a different kit, so I didn't bother putting those in here. This is just stuff that I already keep in the pantry. Then we have empty bottles and jars in this drawer. Empty tins, tubes, and bags in this drawer. It's very full, but each bag has a different kind of container in it. And then, oh yeah, I call this one accessories because this was random stuff. It didn't really go anywhere. So I have the um, pipette lids and I think I had some spray lids. These go to the glass bottles that I have, little funnels, lots of random things. Then um, Tom is going to make a uh, cut a piece of wood and we'll paint that gold to match to put across the whole top to make a nice smooth like a uh, work surface for me. That's my grinder that I use for powdering herbs. Then I keep a little scale for weighing things. And then I have cotton balls that I use to dip into tinctures when I just want to get a little bit out. And plastic bags for when some of my friends want to buy herbs from me. I can uh, package those up. And this was already here, my herb poster. I got this free from learningherbs.com when I signed up for a course with them. And it tells some common herbs and just a little bit about each one. I thought it looked nice, so I framed it and hung it up. And then this is a very recent addition. This was the old bedside lamp for my room, and the other one got broken. I can't remember what happened to it, but I kept this one just in case of I just in case I thought of a use for it. And so I hung it here and I I loosened, there's a little nut on the back and I loosened it to turn it upside down so they could hang it like a street light and then put one of these Edison bulbs in it so it looks really nice and kind of lights up my work area over here. I used to have all of my um, vitamins and things up on these shelves but originally this had been my plan was to use these blue glass bottles for all my tinctures and put those up here but then I felt like that wasn't working so I switched but now that I've got this nice little drawer system down here. I have lots more room. So I'm planning to put all my tinctures back into the blue bottles and make nice labels for them, but that's still a work in progress. Mm -hmm.